will this be a future classic? What do you guys think? Comment down below. But I think so. For a number of reasons, Alfa Romeo is planning to uh, go all electric. That's one reason. Another reason, <clears throat> there aren't a lot of these on the road as well. A couple of other reasons why on the engineering side of things. The engineering was done by a bunch of Ferrari people. For example, those who engineered the 458 or the 458 Speciale, I think. Um, they used Ferrari's wind tunnel to develop the uh, aero bits, like the active splitter and the rear diffuser. Sorry if I'm being too quiet. I don't want to bug the neighbors with all my car bullshit. <laughs> Actually, I haven't watched this car for like two months now, I think. So, it really needed it. Alfa Romeo is not going to make this beyond 2023 or 2024, I forget. So this is the first and last Julia Quadrifoglio ever. The last gas-powered Julia Quadrifoglio. So, bittersweet. I'm glad my wife and I got to experience it. Very fortunate to uh, have something like this. It's hard to uh, vlog and watch a car at the same time. I don't know how people do this. It's nuts. Mm, pretty sure this was my rinse bucket. <laughs> Pretty sure. So most of you probably know you go from from top <laughs> from top to bottom. See that? You don't want that to put that you don't want to put that back on the paint, so and you flip it too. You may have noticed. Work your way down because it's gonna get much dirtier the further you down normally because everything that gets kicked up by the wheels and tires and all the brake dust oh fuck wrong bucket <laughs> oh well no time it's getting dark let's see why else will this be a future classic comment down below why you think the Julia Quadrifoglio will be a future classic. I'd love to hear your opinions about it, or why it won't be, <laughs> even. I remember when this first came out, I think 2016, maybe Detroit or New York Auto Show, I forget. But I was in my office at work on my lunch, uh, watching the reveal video or whatever. And oh my god, I uh, as soon as the wallpapers came out, I immediately put it up on my desktop. It was freaking beautiful. And actually I didn't get I didn't get one of these. At first I got a Cayman S first before I got this. It wasn't until later I got this. I actually have broken glass right now. Through a, a rock. I got a really bad chip that expanded into a big old crack. And I'm getting that replaced tomorrow actually at Safe Flight. Like I said, a bunch of Ferrari engineers helped to design this car. The engine is a based on a Ferrari design on one of their V twin turbo V8s. Has the same bore and stroke, um, but this is a V6, so 
it was derived from that V8 design. I believe it was still assembled by Alfa Romeo. But, but the design is based on the Ferrari design. It's probably why Alfa Romeo doesn't want to say it's a Ferrari engine. But uh, it totally is in my opinion. And I'm sure a lot of people agree with that. Just another reason why this car is so special. Having that connection with the Ferrari is pretty cool because he started his racing career, if you will, racing Alfa Romeo's first before he started his car company. Pretty awesome. Breaking my rules a little bit, went back to the top, but hopefully the all this the foam the foam gun hopefully got all that dirt. All right, well I'm gonna finish up without the video or without the camera on. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh shit, I gotta turn the water on. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I gotta turn the water on. Dumb. I think I gotta go more. Not enough soap in there. No, sir. No, ma'am. Drops of 